Hi all and welcome to Organomed. Hope all of you are fit and fine. So all of you have seen the thumbnail and all of you are aware that today we are going to discuss about analyzing results of molecular docking. Since I had uploaded a video on molecular docking using Autodoc, so I thought it's really necessary to upload a video on how to analyze the results of molecular docking using Autodoc. Although you can analyze the results of molecular docking using various other softwares like BioVia Discovery Studio and PyMole, but today I had demonstrated it by using Autodoc tools itself. In today's video, we will see how can we analyze the result of our molecular docking. So for that, so here I had already done molecular docking uh, and uh, so here I had not shown molecular docking as I had already uh, done molecular docking and here the protein I had choose is uh, 2 GHV alright and I had docked this protein with uh, imatinib ligand alright so you can see all my files are present in this docking folder and I had shown you I had shown you how to do molecular docking using Autodoc step by step in the previous video. So if you had not watched uh, that video, I will suggest you to watch it. All right. And um, now you can see this one is the map file has been generated. This one is a DLG file. I will also show you the DLG file. Let me open it. In the previous video we had done molecular docking and uh, I had shown you how to generate DLG file but I had not shown you how to analyze the results of molecular docking. So basically in this video I am going to show you how you can analyze the results of docking using Autodoc. Alright. So this one is a DLG file and so now here we have to see the histogram. Yes. So this one is the clustering histogram and here you can find and here you will find so my docking score is minus 7.38 this present in conformation number 10 all right so we have to search for this so so here i had chosen the protein 2ghv which is the spike glycoprotein from sars coronavirus 2 and uh, i had docked this protein with uh, imatinib all right and uh, this one is the result so minus 7.38 is the lowest binding energy all right so we will see all this using autodoc so open the autodoc so for that open the autodoc page and from here go to the analyze and click on docking after that open and then choose the dlg file that is docking log file which is 2ghv here so just select it all right so here read 10 docked conformations from 2ghv.dlg use analyze conformations play to view all right so there are 10 conformations of this uh, uh, ligand imatinib and so this one is a ligand here after that you need to go on to the macro molecule and then open so once you do it your macro molecule will be open so now here you can see this one is the macro molecule 2 ghv and here is the ligand okay now what you need to go is so now what you need to do is just again go on to the analyze and then go on to conformations and then play all right once you click it so here you can you will find so this one is the docked uh, ligand all right you can see this one is the docked ligand okay and uh, so here are 10 conformations so you can see this kind of dialog box appears and uh, from here you if you want to change the so this one is the first conformation in order to see the second just click on as I had done blind docking so it will show you all the show you all the possible binding sites where this uh, ligand can go and bind with best conformation this one is the third area after that this one is the fourth and the fifth sixth seventh 
एट्थ नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ सो दिस वन इज द टेंथ कॉन्फर्मेशन एंड अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस टेंथ कॉन्फर्मेशन नाउ यू माइट बी आस्किंग दैट वाई आई एम कंसिडरिंग इज दिस टेंथ कॉन्फर्मेशन दिस इज बिकॉज we are shown in the result that it is a 10th conformation which has the lowest binding energy of minus 7.38 so we are particularly interested in this 10th conformation so what you need to do is just uh, select it so just select the here is a panel options uh, just open it and uh, here so in four all right and it will show you the binding energy so this one is a 10th conformation and it will show you the binding energy of minus 7.38 with ligand efficiency and intermolecular energy electrostatic energy unbound energy torsional energy all these informations are provided now all, let me also show you if you will uh, choose this eighth conformation let's say then it will show you the binding energy of this all right and now as i told you that we are interested in the 10th conformation because it has the good binding energy of minus 7.3 so we will choose this 10th conformation now next what you need to do is now let's say you had done molecular docking and now you need to show the and now you need to uh, see what are those amino acid residues which are particularly bounded with your ligand now in order to see that click on analyze and then docking and then view and then show interactions all right so yeah here you can see it is showing you all the possible interactions so you can see uh, it is tyr356 as and 357 phe329 phe30 sorry it's 361 and uh, here it's phe379 so basically there are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six amino acids which are interacting with the ligand all right and uh, yeah this is the best way also I'm just going to remove it okay now from here you can uh, set the background color of your choice let's say if you want to have this this or this color you can choose it according to you now here let's say i'm choosing uh, so yeah, i'm choosing white here by default and uh, you so now here you can also change these wire frame uh, spheres with uh, solid all right so these are the solid but i think that wire frame looks good so i'm going to so i'm okay with this wire frame model and next if you want to see hydrogen bonds you can click on this and it will show you all the possible hydrogen bonding which this ligand makes with the, all the residues all right you can also hide the close contacts and now you can see these are the amino acid residues which are particularly making hydrogen bonds with this ligand and uh, now so you can see the protein chain is showing here and uh, now if you want to display the protein you can choose this otherwise you can also remove it okay these are basically the amino acid residues which are interacting with the ligand imatinib in this protein so now let's say if you want to display this image in any of your word file or powerpoint presentation you can save this image using uh, you can save this image also from here for that click on save image and then choose and then wrote down as image dot png all right and then click on save if possible also write the extension because uh, it uh, uh, also write the extension png here and then click on save all right and then okay after that check your uh, docking folder and uh, you will find the png file here it will be generated png file yes so here is the png file and then open it so yeah here you can see the pn uh, this one is a file and now from here now you can copy and paste this image in any of your file in any of your in any of your word or powerpoint presentation all right and uh, now 
close it after this if you want to see the secondary structure of the protein like you can zoom it and you can analyze this amino acids clearly from here but if you also want to see the secondary structure of the protein for that click on display and then secondary structure from here click on display and then ok so now you can see the secondary structure of the protein has been displayed at the back all right and uh, you can also save this image so this is the way through which you can analyze your molecular docking results using autodoc also i want to mention that for docking 2ghv with the imatinib here i had chosen the e chain and i had removed the c chain all right so i hope this video will beneficial to all of you and uh, you all like the video so thanks for watching this video you can also follow organomed on my instagram handle that is organomed 2020 also you can follow organomed on twitter facebook and tumblr the name is same organomed and um, hope you all enjoy this video like share and comment if you have any queries you can mail on organomed2020 at gmail.com so thanks for watching